we are joined now by Bills team reporter Maddie Glab, who we are happy to see again because that means another Bills victory has been notched on the roster, on the record for this season. Now 3-0 and after the 47-10 to beatdown of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And so Maddie is here to hand out the Maddie Awards, which are presented by Energy Mark, the official energy supplier to the Buffalo Bills. And uh, the party started early, as I said earlier, Maddie, and it went late. It was a party at Highmark Stadium last night. Our first award that we're giving out, real recognize real. You know why? Because four-time NBA champion and MVP LeBron James tweets out during the game, I really like watching Josh Allen play football. Well, everyone in Highmark Stadium loved watching Allen play football on Monday night. Real recognize real from greatness to greatness. Allen couldn't have been stopped by a Mack truck last night. Four touchdown passes, 247 passing yards in the first half. He had some beautiful passes as well. After seven years of watching him, it still doesn't get old. Watching some of the ball placement on some of his throws last night, his Ty Johnson touchdown pass really sticks out to me. He's moving backwards as he chucks the ball 16 yards down the field and places it perfectly over linebacker Chad Muma goes right into the hands of Johnson. That's when the Bills went up 34 to three. He's the first quarterback in NFL history to throw for four touchdowns, have no turnovers, take no sacks, complete 75% of his passes, and lead his team in rushing yards in the same game per Opta stats. That is one clean game from QB1. Yeah, that, yeah, clean game to be sure. Um, I think we, I've been saying this, Maddie. <clears throat> the thing that looks different about it, because we've seen flashes of this before, right? Josh is, I mean, he had, he's had four touchdown games. He had four touchdown game this season in week one. The thing that's getting us now, like last week against the Dolphins and this week against the Jags, it just looks really easy. I mean, they just, they never have to, come. I mean, yeah. in that first half, they never, I mean, they were in the third down a couple of times and, Josh would just run, he would like run for 12 on a third and yeah, nine. A draw. I yeah. mean, what do you, I mean, it, it was just one thing after another. Everything that the Jaguars did, the Bills had not just an answer, but it's like, oh, yeah, we, we, we got that. And they you go know, for fourth just, downs and they convert. This team is five of five on fourth downs yeah. to start the season. That's the best in the NFL. The next team is the Kansas City Chiefs. They're three for three. Hmm. Okay. Pretty cool. Poetic Justice is next on the award list. Poetic Justice, that's going to safety Damar Hamlin because Monday Night Football holds a lot of meaning for Hamlin. On Monday night in week 17 of the 2022 season, Hamlin suffered a cardiac arrest episode that put his future in doubt, not just as a football player, but as a human. Monday Night Football now holds a new meaning to Damar Hamlin. He recorded his first career interception on Monday night. That is just poetic justice. The best part was watching him celebrate with all of his teammates on the sidelines. They are the guys who saw all the hard work that went into making the comeback. Less than two years after the cardiac arrest episode, Hamlin is starting and making plays. We love that for you three. We are so happy and excited to see you go out there and not just play, but flourish in it. Yeah, 10 tackles last week. I think he had another eight yesterday. Um, yeah, he's been right in the middle of it. And I think the, the, most, I think the most gratifying thing for us to see is he's back to the player that he was because he was a very physical player, mm -hmm. put his body at risk and – I think we all wondered if he was going to be able to mentally wrap his head around being that player again, and I think we're we're seeing evidence of that this year after kind of using last year as a get back yeah, year, if you will. Here. Right. So just really cool to see. Another one is the next one is the Steel Curtain Award. Interesting. Go ahead. Steel Curtain is going to our offensive line. You know they're a huge part of the offense's success to start the season. And the offensive line doesn't always get kudos or shout outs, but they deserve it after that huge victory against the Jaguars. They were the steel curtain for Josh Allen and the running backs. No sacks and the Bills rushed for 122 yards. The Jags have three first rounders on the defensive line. 
Trayvon Walker, Josh Hines Allen, Eric Armstead. The previous two matchups against the Jags, the Bills had a hard time moving the ball, averaging just 50 rushing yards per game. And Hines Allen would get after Josh Allen. That was not the case last night. Hines Allen had one pressure on like 26 pass rushes. Right tackle Spencer Brown did not allow a single pressure on 35 pass blocking snaps. His third straight game without allowing a pressure. The offensive line deserves their flowers. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, it, they are getting the ball out quicker too. That always is kind to an offensive line to take any credit away from them. But I think what we're seeing offensively in the passing game too is kind of it, it's why it makes it look so easy. Yeah, I mean, that they're scoring 30-plus points a game. Last night, there was 40-plus. And they the, – it and you get the idea. It looks exactly like it's supposed to, you know. I mean, and it never does that in the NFL. You got <laughs> you got NFL players you got other guys trying. Every, yeah, they're trying the other to team. do everything they can to get in your way. And the Bills' offense is working just exactly like you envision it, which it's rare to go through a stretch like that, let alone three weeks of it. Two All right, and, a half, two and, and that, a half is a, that is a perfect segue to the In His Bag Award. Offensive coordinator Joe Brady was in his bag last night. 34 points in the first half. Stop playing with us, Joe Brady. It was so fun to watch. He was dishing it out to everyone in his play calling. Everybody got a slice of the pizza last night. Six different players have a touchdown. That's the third time that's happened in team history. Ten different players catch a pass from Josh Allen. That's the tenth time that's happened in team history. His calls and his quarterback shredded, and I mean shredded, Jacksonville's man defense. They tried zone for like a play, but the Bills scored on them, and they said, all right, we'll just go back to man defense. That is the ultimate compliment. It is hard to win against teams who successfully can find different options on the field from game to game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we go from that to the Young Guns. The Young Guns, that's our rookies for making plays against the Jags. They showed out on Monday Night Football. How about Keon Coleman, our wide receiver, having his first NFL touchdown? He was in the game for like five plays and caught a touchdown pass. The dude is an athlete. And then Davis puts the cherry on top with his first NFL touchdown to make it a 37-point victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great to see him get involved in things as well. And then the rookie defensive end, Javon Solomon, had a strip sack fumble. Then defensive end, Casey Tuhill recovers it. The Bills score points off of that. In fact, they scored 14 points off of forced takeaways, forced turnovers against the Jaguars. It's great to see the production that we're getting out of the rookies this early in the season. Yeah, and it's yeah. happening on both sides of the ball, but you've got a special award for the Bills defense. Bills defense, we've talked so much about the offense in this game because they put up 47 points against the Jaguars. But the defense also limited them to just 10 points. They need to get some love for their part that they played in Monday's victory. Five sacks, two takeaways. The Bills score 14 points off of those takeaways. The defense held the Jaguars to three and a half yards per play. That is a low, low number. They were just two of 13 on third down. It's crazy how successful they were at making life so hard for the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence had just 59 passing yards in the first half. They were mean and they were nasty. Shout out to Balen Spector too, who had his first start in the regular season at middle linebacker. It wasn't too big for him. Yeah, he got the best of his uh, former Clemson teammates, Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne yesterday for sure. Yes, did. And you mentioned, Maddie, the points off turnovers in the last two weeks. 35 points for the Bills Jeez. off of takeaways. 21 against Miami, 14 last night. So really, really, really impressive. All right, the final award, 100%. 100%. I gave it out last week. We're going to keep this going as long as he keeps catching every single ball thrown his way. To start the season, Khalil Shakir has been targeted 14 times. He's caught every single one of those targets. That's a 100% catch rate. And it's not just to start the season. Let's go back to last year. In the last six regular season games, 
Dating back to week 16, Khalil Shakir has caught every single one of his targets. 27 targets, 27 catches. He does not miss. Josh Allen, after the game, called Shakir a real football player. You know, he's a football player who catches absolutely everything. He's a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. That's what I would call him. Just the, the ball just, <laughs> just sticks to him. Elite he's, hands. Yeah, he's quickly be going to become legendary if, if this continues any long, any further. It's, it's awesome to see, which and is crazy because you don't often see it with receivers of smaller stature. It's right. usually the big guys with the giant mitts. You know, right. like a DeAndre Hopkins who has 12-inch right. hands. Right. It's one thing to catch everything, but it's another thing to catch everything and then get yards after catch. Right. He's doing both of those things yeah. to start the season. I'm going to be very interested to see where the Bills rank in yards after catch this week. I believe last week when I looked it up, they were 12th in the league. I think they're going to be a little mm -hmm. bit higher after yeah. what we saw last night. Thanks, Maddie, thanks Maddie. as always yeah. for the Maddie Awards. Hopefully awesome. you're back here next Monday for Every another Tuesday. edition. Let's make it four in a row. Maddie Awards presented as always by Energy Mark, official energy supplier to the Buffalo Bills.